head hurts. Oh dear. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Oh no. Well, I mean, there's only one crack, so uh, we'll, we'll do better tonight. Hopefully, we'll have all of the cracks fixed tonight. But welcome back, everyone, to my time at Porsche. Now, I have been told that uh, apparently the voice acting was only added in the last uh, big patch. So that's why some things voice acted, some things are not, and perhaps not all the voice acting is yet properly... Um, um, equalized in terms of volume, I imagine that will all be worked on throughout the early access development. From City Hall, we have mail already. How marvelous. Uh, can we open the mail? There we go. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin, number one, below the Church of the Light, and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wastelands east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Uh, that is probably the game's way of letting us know that not all of the content has been added. Ooh. Who are you? Are you what? a spy for the Duvos Empire? What? Huh? How rude. You're just the new builder. Hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> I kind of like you, though. Uh, greet a new person with suspicion. Not exactly the most dapper thing, but I, you just kind of look cute when you do it. Uh, the life here in Porsche is so cozy. You feel it with your heart. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. See, see, definitely a dapper soul in there, just buried under, underneath all of the suspicion. Ooh, is that one of your brothers? I think it may be based on what was said last night. Let's go and have a quick chat. You are. Hello. I've been around, but the fish around Porsche are the best. Lots of spots to fish, and oh, so tasty. I will bear that in mind. Uh, right, I'm going to see if I can chop down that last year. It only needs one more good thwack with my axe. There we go. How much wood are we going to get? We got us 13 wood. Wow, okay, that was uh, worth that. Uh, well, lots of comments have let me know that, in fact, we do get the uh, trees back. They will regrow, uh, regrow, though I don't recall how often it was said they will regrow. Also, I was told that you can simply move away from things you chop. It's fine. They will catch up to you eventually. So uh, we're just going to chop these down. Ooh, level three has been gained. Marvelous. I approve enormously. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of stone while we're out, just to make sure that I've got all the things I need. But first, before anything else, let us go. Uh, hello, Sonia. How's today going for you? The beverages here are all brewed by the brewmaster Django himself. Try them all. Uh, I, I will, I'm sure, over time. Not all at the same time, though, because that sounds like it's a recipe for disaster. Hello. People want the guidance of the church when it comes to technologies from the corrupted world. After all, these technologies were what led to the destruction of the human race. We need to be extra careful of what we dig up now. That's true. Digging up ancient technologies from the ancient peoples who destroyed themselves. Super bad idea. Don't do it. Unless you like fun. Right. Okay. I think this is where we need to be. Is this the may mayoral location? It appears it in fact is. Gail, hello! Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder! Uh, I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much for the welcome. I'm here to register my workshop. I am. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? <gasps> I didn't prepare! Ah, oh, drat! I didn't expect you to ask me to name it. Uh, I could, uh, uh, I, 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 we could go with Pa's Workshop. Uh, oh, no, we can't. We can't go with Pa's Workshop. Mm. Okay, Dapper Dell. There we go, the Dapper Dell Workshop. Yes, I am absolutely certain. Dapper Dell, a builder, Avac. Now, I didn't build it. I have simply inherited it. Birthday unknown. Do I, did I not fill this in? Maybe I am a spy. Because that seems like the sort of thing a spy would admit. No, wait, wait. If you were a good spy, by, you would definitely have a birthday. It just wouldn't be your actual birthday. Nor would it be your actual name. Maybe I'm just a bad spy. Mm, either way, I'm starting to think that they were right to suspect me. Nice name. Oh, oh thank there. you. Your registration is complete. Fantastic. What do I do next? Thank you. 
Still a man also, of few words. we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Okay. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. Okay, well, that's actually pretty cool. I, I get a feeling that maybe there have been a few times where Kale has been the only one there. Uh, I was about to say, is this your lovely, lovely partner? But uh, unless your partner dresses exactly like you, in which case, uh, I mean that's kind of cute on one level, creepy on another. But uh, no, I think that's just a picture of Gail. Gail, you, you you do actually seem the sort of person who would surround his office with pictures. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and who is hmm, that? That definitely isn't Gail, but the other ones are Gail. Okay, Gail, what else do you have for me? Meet and greet. Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. Okay. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. That seems like a pretty good idea, actually, Gail. Pretty good. Uh, I'd like to have a quick I chat. I hope Portia well. can there be more go. prosperous under my guidance and become the model city in the Free Cities Alliance. Well, now that I'm living here, I hope this too. And until such a point as I live somewhere else. And then I will hope it at the other place. But for now, you have my allegiance, Gail. Do not squander it. Uh, right, we need to meet and greet. Okay, uh, where, where's my first... Uh, really? But I've, I've already met everyone in... Uh, no, okay. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll go and meet and greet. Hello! Oh, I was returning to let You're you know. You're now uh, a bona fide workshop owner. Fantastic. Your pa would have been so proud. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I, I'm I going to have to rely on you to fill me in with details about my pa, I think, based on the story so far. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Very well. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Haha, he said Porsche. Loads of people would chat and say, yeah, you're saying it wrong. I'm, no, I'm not. Uh, uh, oh, I might be, but also Presley is saying it wrong, which means I am in good company, whether I'm saying it right or wrong. Uh, okay, so on the board. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed ah. on the wall behind me. Okay. So this is this is where it's kind of a little bit like Stardew, where you're competing against other farms, but here possibly other workshop owners? There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes! Adding yours, there will be five workshops oh, wow. in our jurisdiction. That's actually quite a lot. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. Ah, okay. But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Okay, so my father was a hard worker. Good. Good salt of the earth kind of man. I like it. Very well. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through Very the well. Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as yeah, well. Yeah, so you can kind of go either way. That's actually pretty cool. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, what? Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That what runt jerk. is the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, uh, Press, I got a job for you. Hooray, I'm sorry! What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Okay. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young here is up for the challenge. So the mayor <laughs> finally put up the money. Okay. Well, young here is up uh, for what? the challenge. Uh, it appears that that my name is just too splendid. It basically shorted out his brain. Very well. I can accept this. Yeah, you figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Oh, okay. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge I diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Very well. Now, I believe that in one of the very, very early demos, this was 
basically, as far as you could go, that was like the last thing you could do in the demo, and then that was it. Um, but it seems that there may be quite a lot beyond that now. Also, and this is important, oh, okay. for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. Ooh. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Well, you have two, though. I guess the other one is strictly outside, but... Okay, I've got a mission start. No, wait! Oh, no! Oh, no! no don't push! I'm oh, sorry, I oh, know. No, no, wait! Ah, oh, scandalizes right away. Uh, I want to chat with you. Hello! The Commerce Guild is always busy, but I feel like I'm taking part in the Talysis of the world. Talysis? What is this word? I'm not familiar with it. Is it a word in this in this world, or is it an actual word and I'm just dumb? Possibly the, the latter, unfortunately. Skin care is a basic right. We need to use face cream every day to have smooth skin. Uh, we've been over this before, Antoine. Uh, you, you need to expand your your choice of dialogues. Uh, Commerce Commission. Do we just click on them? Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, I can actually take some. Uh, it's only three talismans. Uh, reject. Um, we need two roasted meats. Some experience, lots of gold, and uh, company are in need of many materials. Right now, we need five glasses. Thanks, and have a good day. Yeah. Okay, well, let me quickly have a, have a gander at my um, book. All right, meet and greet. I've actually met no one. Okay, uh, right, that's actually looks like a big chunk of EXP and a lot of gold. My lord, all right, very well. Also, my character has an extra skill point he can put in things. I could have smooth talk. Or I could instead... Mm, I'm going to increase my stamina. Just a wee bit. Except, apply, rather. Uh, now, my father's handbook. I definitely need to find out something about bridges. Bridges, bridges, br wooden bridge head. Okay, I need three copper pipes, which I make from copper ore. That's probably what I need to mine for, and lots of hardwood to make the planks. Okay. And over here I need bronze plates, bricks, which pro yeah, stone into bricks, tin ore and copper ore to make bronze. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well. Got a lot of things to do then. Oh well, it's good to be kept busy. Now then, where is everyone? Ooh. Uh, right, I, li I like the look of that, that cloak you're wearing. Uh, but should we get straight down to business? I, I kind of feel that we should, but at the same time, I'm just going to go and have a chat with people. Uh, is it Lee that I need to talk to here? Let me have a quick look at my quests again. Missions, meet and greet. Is Lee there? No, but I do have to speak with, uh, Django, who will probably be in here. Hello? Oh, this looks like... Oh, this is fancy looking. My lord. Hello, Emily. Hey there! I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. Sunny it's so Farm nice girl. to have new people move into our town. Drop by my ranch sometime. Oh, thanks very much, Emily. How dapper. I love Granny's farm. It's so full of life. I can spend a whole day tending the crops and playing with the animals. Wow. A woman after my own heart. I, I approve of the people who live in this town already. I have yet to meet a single one. Well, actually, no. I've met one. I have yet to meet two people that I possibly don't like. I would rather not die. No, oh, talk. a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. Oh, thank you very much. Wow. And relationship plus ten. Oh, my God. See if not can sword out is it is justice wow. and loyalty. The rest is just for show. Nats can always eat for free in my restaurant. Cheers! Very well. Ah, I like this. You've already got some food, apparently. I'm going to assume. Ooh, Albert, I'm not ah, to Ah, welcome. If you're in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Very well. Thank you very much. Have you ever met Gust's sister? No. She looks I don't so think fair. That. She doesn't come outside very often. I've only seen her a few times. I see. Okay. 
practically talk of the town, though, since you're talking to someone who's effectively a stranger. But, uh, or maybe you're just a, a very easygoing person. And you don't believe in things like strangers. Strangers are just friends that you haven't met, uh, learnt the name of yet, which is a lovely way to live. Uh, right. Uh, oaks. Ah, it's, it's, le well, actually, no, it is, it is still actually an animal skin. Hmm. Hi-o. You Hi must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. Simple? That, that seems like the wrong way. You look very interesting, in fact. Very complicated, too. Look at all the things gone. Belt, belt. Papa Bear gets agitated uh, on your belt quite belt. often during summer due to his thick fur. Okay. I need to figure out a way to help him cool down. Uh, were you literally raised by bears? If so, that is amazing. My goodness. Right, uh, that's one, two people I've met so far. Uh, Carol, Sophie, Mars, Paulie, and Dr. Zhu. Uh, hello, Alice. I'll just have a quick chat. Each flower has its own language. My favorite flower is the bellflower. It speaks of true love. I... Okay. You can talk to plants. Moving on. Uh, right. We've got Martha and Samwa. I don't believe I've talked to Samwa yet. Oh, I heard about you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. Thank you. The life here in Porsche is so cozy. Fill it with your heart. I'm pretty sure you'll know. I'm fairly certain I will, actually, so far. I've got no reason to doubt that. Hello, Martha. Hi. You're probably the new Builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. Oh, very nice to meet you as well, Martha. I wish my son would stop dreaming about a life of adventure. Why can't he just have a peaceful life here in Portia? Well, it's complicated, really. I, I, some people are just born with adventure in their bones. Uh, right, okay, so have I got... Hmm, the, well, it doesn't look like I can go in there. Let's go into the... Uh, Martha's home, okay, so maybe not then. What about here? Let's go in Isaac's home. That, that, that's a ranch. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, is there anything down here? No. Okay, no secrets. That's a shame. I was thinking they might have been. And you might be able to smash these boxes. I am not going to try. I feel that would be incredibly rude. Let's see what's over here. Mars and Carol's home. Ah, okay. Mars, here we are. Hello. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Nice to, to have you. you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Thank now, you, for the you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. Your secret is safe with me, Mars. It's two stone bricks. How lovely. It's my greatest happiness to watch my three little girls grow up. Oh, that's lovely. Right, let's have a chat with Carol. Welcome to our little town. I hope you. you have a wonderful time. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Do we actually go on dates in this? Because that's, I've got to be honest, uh, whilst in Stardew you have the, the sort of mini events, you never quite go on a date with anyone like you do in some um, games in that genre. And I did kind of miss that a little bit. I mean, there's the dance, which you do, which is sort of, but... Yeah, it's not quite the same. Oh, I really hope that that's now something. You look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, I, though. I, I, very well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carol. Uh, I can make some gorgeous clothes for you if you want. I'm the best tailor in Portia. Are you the only tailor as well? Because I'm getting the impression that there aren't too many competing stores here. Oh, ha ha. Here we are. The best brother. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, thank you, but I'd like to... Oh, there we are. I'd like to come in and actually... Oh, I'm terrible, sorry. Welcome, smallish builder. <laughs> I sell furniture here in my store. So if you ever have I any mean... need for manly decors, <laughs> you know where to find me. <laughs> the accent as well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't not laugh. Uh, I mean, <laughs> in fairness, by comparison, I am smallish. So... Yeah, I'll take that on the chin. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to have made, met the acquaintance of, of someone so manly. 
Ah, uh, Polly. Three hardwoods, thank you. Once, I said I wanted to be the strongest man in Portia. They all laughed. Then, I said I wanted to run a furniture store. They laughed even more. But look who got the last laugh. Uh, well done. Actually, that's kind of motivational. I like it. Well done, you. Also, hello, Pinky! Uh, I don't... Have I got anything? I, I don't know. I don't think I've got anything I can give you, really. I don't think so, anyway. Alright, next up on my mission. Meet and greet. Sophie and Dr. Zulu. Okay, where are you gonna be? Can I have a look at the map? Uh, we've got... Right, there we are. Also, the abandoned ruins. Ah, okay, so Sophie. Right, that would be your grandmother. That makes sense, okay. Everything makes sense now. Right, I'm just gonna take a shortcut. And. Oh, look, there's a little, uh, little slide. Can I go down the slide? Look, I, I know that I'm possibly too old for this. I frankly don't care. Can I. Can I. Uh, can, no, let me. No. Oh, yes, no. No. Ah, scatterbags. Can I go up the slide? That's even worse, actually. Uh, no, I can't. Okay, I'll well, find Hello. You're the new builder, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I hope you're wiser and more reasonable than the other foolish builder in town. Uh, there are five, I think. Time is life. So enjoy your time in Portia and don't waste mine. Ah, Portia. You say it differently. Cross five. Really? So many different games. I insist we play this. Okay. Uh, then. Um, I'm, I'm going to do super poorly. I'm not a go player at all. Uh, okay, you're, you're going to trap me shortly, aren't you? Yep, that you are. I feel you're doing better than me at this so far. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Uh... See, I don't know any any tactics or anything to, to, to play Go. I played it like twice, I think. If that. Uh, right. Well, as long as I put it there, you're not gonna be able to get five there. Hmm. This this is this is a little bit more than I really bargained for here. I'll be honest with you. In uh, <laughs> picking a game to play, Go is probably not the best one for me to pick, and I'm only gonna get one of the oh my god, I might I'll just let you win. But I, I cannot. It, it would grate on my nerves too much to just throw a game. I don't care how long it's gonna take. I me cut this out now. I lost. Oh, I, I, I was a derp. Uh, okay, I confirmed to exit. Well done, Isaac. On the plus side, I, I accidentally threw the game whilst talking about how much I wasn't gonna throw the game. Uh, Everything worked out well in the end, I suppose, but that's gonna annoy me a little bit. Uh, between now and the next time I play this, I'm gonna have to look up lots of lots of strategies relating to go. I'm gonna become a go player just so I can beat Isaac. Uh, right, hello clinic. That's honestly the best reason to learn to play any game. <laughs> get defeated. That is your reason now to get better. You've got nowhere to go but up from here. Hello! Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much <sighs> the only doctor around Everyone here, says so it come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, okay. have these as a welcome gift. Thank you. Is that kind of you? I need them to soothe my, my, my damaged pride. I'm researching some old medical history. There used to be a Western and an Eastern thought on medicine, and mm. they are radically different. I wonder, how will Phyllis think of them? Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Hello, Phyllis. Dr. Shu is a great doctor. I'm studying under him to learn everything he can throw at me. Okay. One day, I'm going to open my own clinic. That is a pretty awesome aspiration. I approve acupuncture. I don't think my, my wounded pride needs acupuncture right now. I think my pride is less about energy flow through my body and is a lot more about being connected to my bones. I, th I think I need a chiropractor to, to, to heal my damaged pride. Hello, mate. Hello, new builder. 
That is who you are, right? It is, indeed, I'm actually. May. I work at the newspaper. See you around. Very well. I just got a news tip. Can't tell you what it is yet. You'll have to read about it later. Very well, May. I will, uh, I will make a point to pick up a copy of the newspaper at, at, at some later date. Not right now. Uh, all right, I've got to go and find uh, Sophie. Uh, hello, Martha. We spoke. We've spoken already today. Barber shop. I wonder if I can get a haircut. I wonder if I can grow a beard and then get it trimmed in the barber shop. I feel that is important. Hello. Sandmire. I think actually I spoke to you earlier. Love you in Porsche. It's so cozy. Feel it with your heart. I'm pretty sure you. I'm going to pronounce it Porsche. Uh, there are too many different ways of pronouncing it. I don't think the people who live in Porsche know how to pronounce Porsche. And that's fine. We can all pronounce it in different ways. As long as we all know what we're talking about, that's the main thing. Hello, colorful llama. Uh, can I run? Uh, yes, of course I can. Running. I I'm not chasing you with it. And I I'm not chasing you with, with boxing gloves. I just really, really want to. I'm not chasing you with her. Oh, my God. I'm chasing you with something no matter what I do, so, uh, oh well. Let's go and see if I can't pop into Sophie's farmhouse. I think that's the last place I need to go. Ah, hello, Scarecrow. Are, are you a Scarecrow made of a gear? You are a robot Scarecrow. My lord, that is amazing. All right. Sophie's farm. Uh, hello. Do you need, do you need help with... Uh, all the steps of your go farm, Emily. Is everything all right? I love Granny's farm. It's so full of life. I can spend a whole day tending the crops and playing with the animals. Emily's voice makes me feel happy. Just putting that out there right now. Sophie's Ranch. Ah, drat, damn it, bless. Uh, I was half an hour late. Uh, that, that bloody Isaac and his game of go. I didn't even win. Worst of days. Worst of days. I'm feeling it right in my pride right now. It's throbbing with pain. I will remember this defeat, Isaac. I will come back one day. Uh, right, let's gather some things up. Honestly, if I just sat down and actually thought about it instead of being caught off guard, like, oh no! <laughs> I don't think I can, I can realistically justify spending my time playing a game of Go when I'm meant to be playing the rest of the game. I may have done a little bit better. I still may have lost. I know nothing about Go other than, you know, it's more or less Othello. Um, but scaled up. Right. Uh, let's see. Or reversey, some people call it, rather than Othello. But I, I was always taught the game was Othello. Uh, right. I need to work on... I think. Should I give myself a practice sword? I don't have enough tree sap, nor do I have any animal bone. I think do I have a sword? Let me have a quick look at my inventory. I do not. I think I would like a sword. Yes, go ahead then. I want myself a sword. Confirm. I will then be able to use it on well, let, let's be honest, it's probably gonna be the ladybugs or the colorful llamas. I need to what fix the gap. Yes! All the gaps have been fixed. Hooray! I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Well, second night here, and I'll have... Well, actually, no, third night here, and I'll have a good night's sleep. That's not too bad. All right, let me spend the rest of my time, though. I don't know if I'm eventually going to pass out because it's too late or what. But, uh, let's see if I can't do a little bit of work. Uh, right, so... Uh, what, but I can make it from hardwood. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I can make a tea table from a wooden board. Uh, from civil cutter and an iron bar. Oh, I really want to make it. Storage box probably be super worth it. Uh, a wooden basket. Practical basket made of wood. Can, uh, can't fit heavy items. Critical chance plus three. Uh, do I just carry this around with me? I, herbal tea. Oh, I want it. Talisman. An amulet made of wood and stone. Looks pretty. Don't have any marble. Let's have a look at the other thing. Shell necklace. Oh, these, these are awesome. Max health plus two. Used to hold water. Nothing special about it. So I put it on my head. Don't tell me I put it on my head. That's going to be bad. I will make one of these, though. There we go. Thank you. 
And I think that's more or less all we're going to be doing there. Uh, Alright, well, still fairly early. Uh, let's have a look. So, my gloves. Attack 5. This. Attack 18. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> Do I really? That's fantastic. Uh, I've got juice. Defense plus 10 lasts 180 seconds. Alright. I think I'll be having that then. Yeah, sure. Uh, I've also got... Oh, I've got my building license. Max stamina. Um, I'm going to see why I put it into my house. Okay. Time for us to gather a tree or two. And grab a few more things. I mean, we've got a lot of stamina. It would be a shame to waste it, but at the same time. Can I actually chop this tree? Yes, I can. Need a better axe? Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> this tree's like, ha! I laughed at your feeble attempts. Uh, I will be back for you, tree. There we go. But I do like that we actually need to get the, the better axes. That's uh, pretty cool. Gives me something to aim for. Look, I, I do feel it that it might might not be the the most dapper of ways to say hello to the llamas, but I've got a funny feeling that I'm meant to, because they got a level. Do I? I uh, no, no, I can't. I can't in good conscience just attack something just because it appears that I might want to attack it, and at some later date I might need something from it. Like it probably drops wool or something. Well, until I need wool, I'm not going to attack the bloody llama. I can't. My conscience wouldn't forgive me. However, these trees, I know I need wood. So, their lives are forfeit. Also, I know they regrow. So, you know, I feel less guilty. I don't yet know if the llamas regrow. Maybe I could hunt them to extinction. That would be terrible. Show up. It's like, oh yeah, hello, builder. We hope you have a lovely time. What have you done to our pet llamas? Oh no. They were a national treasure. Yep, that, that would be my luck. There we go. I'm going to try and use up all my stamina. Did I grab everything? Yes, I did. Good. Uh, I believe there was a little bit on the ground there. There we are. I think I should have enough now to create a storage box. Ooh. Yes. Nice. My attack has gone up as well. Okay, so these levels. Very nice. I approve. Now, we are going to have to go and get some copper. And I was also advised in the comments that it is generally a good idea to have multiples of things. Like, don't you don't just want one furnace. Probably much like Stardew, you, you can't really get by on one furnace. I mean, I mean you could, but uh, you're going to spend a long time or a lot of money getting your ores. Probably a little bit of both, actually. Okay, I can't. Ah, so I don't pass out. I simply can't do things. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a wooden storage box. Let's make one of these. Bob. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead in. Oh, it's past midnight. Probably not a good idea if we'd still be up at this point. Okay, can I place my wooden storage box anywhere? Pop that down. Oh, no. Uh, let's pop that down there. Can I... Aha! Yes, I can. I'll put it right there. Fantastic! I can customize it as well. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, sure, I'll pop you in the... Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to split you. I wanted to move the entire stack. Um, until I need you, you can stay in there. Oh, the wood will stay on me. I don't need this, though, I don't think. And I haven't seen anything that needed that, but you I did need. I'll drop that off. You can stay up there. Okay, now then. Can I put this... Can I customize it? How so? <gasps> I can make it a different color. Well, that's... Oh, really? I can... I can adjust this RGB independently. That is super fancy. I think we'll go with um, <laughs> none of those. Let's go with just a sort of a darker brown. It's not particularly rich, but uh, it's a basic little chair, so that'll be alright. Uh, right, can I put this on my wall? Can I? No? Hmm. I, I guess I keep it on me then, or... Uh, Alright. Well, I guess I've got inventory space, so I'll, I'll keep it there. I can sell it for one gold? No, that's my, that's my license. Oh well, let's have a, let's have a snooze. Go to sleep? Yes, please. But, uh, that looks like all we're going to be doing for this episode. 
I am probably going to move towards more of a two in-game days per episode formula. I've been told by Lady Sheila that it, it's quite comfortable for that, but uh, we did spend a lot of time in this episode just meeting and greeting, and we're probably only going to need to do that a limited amount of the uh, in the in the beginning. I don't intend to spend all day talking to people. No, I'm not going to promise that I won't because you know if someone shows up, I feel obliged to make a friendly conversation, and that's just the way I am. But in the next episode, we're probably going to go and check out those ruins and get to work on our first commission. So I hope to see you then. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>